Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of FTP Sky Solo. So, we have been blessed a couple of times since I've been trying to work on this. It's been slow. <laughs> uh, much like the rest of my stuff I do. But I did set up this very quick and easy stone smelter. Works a little bit better over there because it doesn't require uh, power, per se. It's just hooking off of the belt line here. So now that one water wheel is powering a fan and two belts, which I want to leave at that. I don't want to increase the stress too much. I was also given a wandering trader, which uh, isn't offering anything good, so... No. But I want to get power from a sub. And to do that, we need these amethyst clusters, which this is fully grown, which is where I want it to be for now. I also need to get a cow farm, which I'm probably going to set up about... Uh, I mean, it'll just be a general animal farm. Uh, maybe I'll set it up on that. As well as a crop farm also somewhere around here but just for wheat for now and uh, in terms of the farms I want to use pedestals specifically the harvester and planter now I did get a little bit overly excited because I want to see if this breaker can be used on the amethyst. I'm not sure if it can or not, but I'm willing to test. So let's find out. First, we're gonna need to make a stone pickaxe so that we can make the breaker upgrade. We are also going to need a tag filter, which needs a filter base and a filter tool. Let's switch this over real quick. If it'll, there we go tool filter. Oh, I wish that would stick. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Filter base. There we go. And I believe it just used four sticks on that. Oh, well. And a tag filter, which needs a tag tool. Is that this one again? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's just do that in here. There we go. Now, we are also going to need... Oh, that completed the quest. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. This also gives me a budding shrine. Oh. The purple people eater. <laughs> oh, that's actually a good sword. Dang. And a tablet of awakening. Okay. You might... Divert nearby. Okay. Given time, amethyst clusters will grow. Amethyst golems are very useful for farming and creating additional ameth amethyst. Uh, check out the quest for them in the Ars Nouveau chapter. Amethyst golems, huh? Hmm. And then this. It consumes earth. So I assume I can't use this quite yet. Uh, just in case, let's go ahead and pop it right here. It probably won't do anything, but yeah, you know, never know. Cool. Um, also, weapons and armors. We got a modded sword and a random food. That's fine. Elemental craft. Where was the quest. Uh, oh, on a pedestal. It was this one. It didn't give a reward, but maybe it has some information. Basic filters. Complex ones to set up, but by doing so, that can really do some useful and unique things. Well. Uh, melon. Oh, <laughs> wait. Melon popsicle? Okay. Dope. Oh, I didn't change the configs. I'll do that uh, next episode. Next time. 
Uh, sorcery roll. Oh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away. That's supposed to go in here. And we are going to want a tag getter. We're going to need some paper, which we can craft because we have a ton of sugar cane. And we still have the tag tool. Now, I believe this is ready. So let's... Tags cleared. Do I need it on my offhand? Do I just right click? This gets tags off items and blocks for use when setting up the tag filter. Offhand item, crouch right click to get tags. Okay. Tags grabbed one. And this is now amethyst cluster. So that's an amethyst cluster. That's a medium amethyst bud. Perfect. So we should now be able to combine these. No? Or do I have to filter applies on inserting? So if I put, say, this right here, the tag filter on that, uh, I'll figure it out. Do I have to... Whitelist... Dust item. Okay, so I've already screwed that up. Hmm. Uh, this filter filters by the tags on an item. Items in the filter must be renamed to tag items names like Forge Stone. Off end filter and right click to switch types. Crouch right click to switch modes. But I'm assuming I can't just. Yeah, I can't do that. Okay. Can the tag getter be placed on here? Hmm. Okay. Alright, it's just like any other. Uh, any other. So this needs to be cleared. I need to put this in. Grab my tag filter. Change the filter. It is now changed to what this tag was. Now I'll just put all of this back. Head over here. Give it the breaker, give it the tag, and it needs a work area or location. So, I now need to grab a work card. Uh, I probably want locations. I'll need a work tool for this. Uh, so this needs to be work tool. I wish the JEI would stick around. That'd be nice. <laughs> All right. So I need one of these. Grab the work tool back. And then if I remember correctly, this needs everything needs to be on the offhand, right? In the air. Or can I oh, okay, block position added. That one. That one. That one. There's nothing there unfortunately. That one. That one. That one. Alright, that's all of them for now. That's okay. Offhand, put it in. And it works. Oh, it gets all of them, though. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted. Is... The tag... Is Amethyst Cluster... Uh, 
put bees amethyst. That's not flowers slash amethyst. That's not what I wanted. Amethyst shard, charged amethyst. I mean, it it works, I suppose, but it, it breaks the ones that I don't want to break. Which is unfortunate. So I might have to get into the the thing to do uh, the, the the amethyst golem. That might have to be what I do. So for now, let's go ahead and break these up. And think about that quest. Let's see. Um, elemental craft will give us automating with the the but the thing back there which seems like it's not quite working and i haven't messed with that uh, much crap so i might do that as a form uh ars nouveau though has amethyst golems which i am interested in and there's a quest for it i've also been meaning to test out ars nouveau for a while hmm Okay, let's go ahead and get into that, but for now, we're messing with pedestals, so let's put all of this away, probably put that away for now as well, oh, I keep forgetting, okay, that away, and we are going to do some farming stuff, so let me go ahead, pick up the pedestal stuff that I'm going to need for this, which is going to need work areas, harvesters, and planters. Probably fertilizer upgrade as well, just because it's nice. And, honestly, while we're getting into this, let's look to see what we can do with the modification and fusion upgrade as well. Let me look into all of the stuff that I can do, and I'll be right back to set up a farm. Alright, I've extended things out a little bit, and I think I want to put our farm... Here, two, three, two, three. yeah, it's a nice, perfect little farm off the side here. Probably gonna put a bucket of water here. We're gonna put, let's see, fertilizer, planter, harvester. Actually, I don't even need to do that, do I? <laughs> uh, I believe I do want to at least put a fertilizer there. Just because that doesn't really matter where it is. Gonna need to grab a bucket of water. And my wheat seeds. that. Go grab our water. And I need some dirt. Let's just grab nine for now, right? Or ten. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm also going to need a hoe, aren't I? Good thing I still have one. Alright, over here, we're going to place our water. Place our dirt. Farmland it up. Place the seeds. Actually, no. Let's not place the seeds. Um, I will need to place those two that we can get all of these. Oh, you know what? Can I... How do I clear these? Do I just do this? 
click in the air to clear all selections. So do I just, yeah, there we go, okay. There, there should be nine selections there. Cool. I didn't mean for that to be how it went, but oh well. So let's not do that yet. We're gonna want the storage controller here with these two like so. Wheat on one side, seeds on the other. I don't think I need the storage controller. It just makes this a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and put, oh, these like so, put the selection, the work cards and all of those, and then we want fertilizer here. Uh, let's go ahead, lock these, and link these. Now we want the planter upgrade to be here and the harvester to be here. Will that work? Or do I need to specify? Oh! You know what? I'm silly. This needs to go here with the work card and the planter upgrade. I do need a exporter and a pedestal. Uh, I already have one. And I need one more pestle. And then I'm going to need an item filter, which means I'm going to need to turn this to filter mode. And we're going to need to make a blank filter. And then turn that into an item filter. Which means I need wool. I thought I had wool. I do. Weird. Alright, now I believe I should be able to just come over here and say, hey, do seeds. Cool. Place a pedestal here. Do that. This is the wrong one. Export. Imports. Yep, that was... There we go. And it should be picking up seeds now. Yeah. And then I take the... Why are there so many fairies? I don't know what this does, but I've been walking over them. I need my tool back. Thank you. Now I need to link the plants. Oh my gosh, so many fairies. Uh, cool. Link you with you. And you should plant now. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. I need you guys to be here. Planter, harvester, and the fertilizer. And then I need these. these blocks and then place them in. That should work better. Oh, yep, see the fertilizer upgrades are already working. Cool. 
Now, I do need... Bone meal. Stack of bone meal. Um, I wonder... There we go. That should be working well. And I can probably place these in. It'll probably be taken out immediately. Fantastic. It is harvesting. Is it harvesting? It is, but it's not placing in. Which means you... Okay. Which means this pestle needs to be placed here. And now I need <laughs> another magnet upgrade. Um, pedestals. Uh, which means I do need to change this back to upgrade. So I can make one of these. And then I'm also going to need another work area. So I need a work tool, which will be work area this time. And I'm just going to go ahead and make the area. And then I'm going to make this magnets upgrade and one more pedestal. Why are you... Okay. Uses pedestal. Why are you? Okay, that's cool. I don't need to do that. Okay. So then over here, I'm gonna place this pedestal. Um. Let's see the magnets will have to. Go. I guess actually this can be the harvester. This can be the magnet, and this needs to be point one, point two, uh, magnet here. And then I'll need a, uh, another pedestal up there, because this is going to need to be transferring over there. Unfortunate that that's how I'm going to have to do it. But... I'll see that, though. Okay. Alright, let me get this set up properly, and then I'll be right back. And there we go. Automated wheat farm. It isn't necessarily as fast as I would like it to be. However, if I click on this, I can probably... Oops. Yeah, I could probably get some... Um, words. <laughs> yeah, I could probably get some pedestals over to it, getting some bone meal from it. Let's go ahead, grab this upgrade base, turn it into a exporter. Uh, this is actually going to be a bit of a fun one. Because I don't have to put this on the controller. I can actually put this on... Let's see, how many can I make? Just the one? Uh, let's make more. Just make as many as possible. Okay, so I can set this one on the back of the bone meal, which should be right here. Right? And I can set... This 
on it, and it should. Yes. Now, if I just right-click this, show the bounding range, I can get a pedestal to about here. And if I click on that to get the bounding range, right-click that. Oh, uh, link it. And then this can come up to here. Unlink that. Well, hold on, let's, there we go. Get this one, it can go to here. And this can go as far as here, which, is that going to be far enough? It isn't, but you know what? I made them. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead, unshow these. This is a bit of a hard thing to be doing, but oh well. So that's the receiver, sender, receiver, sender, receiver, sender. Now I have a line of pedestals feeding bone meal, each holding up a stack, by the way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extra stacks of bone meal that doesn't have to go in the storage system. So that actually solves a couple of things. Storage system, potential storage system problems with the bone meal, and fertilizer for this, which means I might go through this fairly quickly, but oh well, that's okay. Now, I should also be able... Okay. I don't know what these do. I don't know if I'm collecting them or not. But I should also be able to get the wheat sent over to... Probably a drawer over here somewhere. That can be connected to that drawer. Just so that I can use it. And it's going to be complicated, it's going to be messy, but I tried to use the controller extensions, and I just couldn't figure those out. And the only other thing I now need to do is I do have a golden egg. This can be used for mobs. To make mobs. And I believe there is a... Uh, yeah, there's an attacker upgrade here. There should also be... Breaker I can use for the... Yeah, so I'll need a pedestal for killing. I'll need a pedestal for breaking the grass. Which, I'm pretty sure this can break the grass. We'll have to find out. And then... Um, brain. No worky. And then we will work on... Brain no worky. Two pedestals, one to kill mobs, one to break the grass, and then another pedestal for a magnet to collect all of the resources into drawers. Use all of the meat into a, um, a fan with lava, and get that into another couple of drawers for cooked meats, and then we can send those. And then next episode, which the... I could probably set that up real quick, but next episode we'll be getting into Ars Nouveau. Getting those Amethyst uh, clusters automated as well. Probably move my tree farm somewhere over there as well. And we will then have a very, very perfect sub farm. And it's going to be fantastic. Now that we've, you know, set up pedestals, know pretty much how that works. Let's go over here and get our dirt thing set up. Alright, we are back real quick. I had to do all the, the cards a little differently. So the breaker, I had to do with a fence post there, there, just this 9x9. Nine nine. The attacker, same thing, but up to the top as well, which means I need to take that down. And then I, because the item went onto that block, I kept the magnet like so. And now, we just gotta do the golden egg. 
place that. And there we go. Oh, we're getting crabs and turtles too. Does that mean we're not going to get any cows? So that's a lot of uh, hits that's being required. Are these taking hits? It is generating them faster than it can deal damage. That's a crab shell. It is breaking though. Hmm. And we're at a beach, so we're just getting turtles and crabs. Not actually what I wanted to have happen. Alright, well, that was a good concept. But, looks like I am going to have to redo that, not do Ars Nouveau next episode. Uh, we actually might still. I'm going to go ahead and find a spot for that where we can get cows, pig, sheep, you know, all, all the jazz. And then, get that set up in a new spot before next episode. And to start with next episode, we will go ahead and look at what we can do for... Upgrading the attacker module into, you know, doing more damage, which actually I think I can, at least for the time being, grab a diamond sword. And then can I... Because it's only using a stick. Can I... Oh! Is that working... Oh, that is working much better. However... Hmm. Exporter, and then linking tool, which I don't have on me. That works way better. I hope that doesn't break, though. Because if the sword breaks, then I'm going to have to find a way to either put an unbreaking tool, like a immortal tool, or, you know, that should send, put into the drawer, and we're good. This should at least now provide us with seeds, uh, flowers, and moth drops. Anything? We've got a crab leg, crab shell, seagrass. But these aren't exactly the drops I'm wanting. Also, look, so, oh, why? Why why are we not magneting? Oh, verdant sprig. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, that's... There we go. I was not expecting that. Uh, let's help it out. Pick this all up. Okay. Um, is there anything else that these provide that I need to worry about? Um... Plant drops. Uh, that's not, I, oh, uh, recipe, sorry. Hmm. What can this be used for? Or is it just roots, rest, ritual stuff? Okay, well, hopefully that's it from that. But, oh, hello. How'd you get way up here? What is this? Blindness. I don't... Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll find a spot for a better spot for that. Next episode, we will get our subs. 
But until then, see you guys next time.